This is just a compound interest question. So after first year, what's actually happened is we get 2,000 multiplied by, now to increase by 2.5%, multiply by 1.025. And if you do that, that equals 2,050. Right. Now what happens in the second and the third year? Well, it increases by a percentage, but it's, it's a repeated. So in other words, it's multiplied by something squared. And we know that that equals 2124.46. So if we this divide this, it's going to equal the something squared. So the something squared is going to equal, so if you do that, you end up with 1.036 and a bit more. Right, square root, and we find out what this is equal to. So if we square root, it's 1.017, that is a zero, 1799 and a bit more. So what is that in terms of a percentage increase? So remember, it's, it's a decimal equivalent, isn't it? So that's actually going to be 1.8%. So one decimal place there. Right, there we are. Right, so on part B, so let's have a look at this part down here. Now, this is actually a reverse percentage question. So what's happened is that there was some cost of the train ticket, the original cost, and that's been multiplied by, so an increase of 12.5%. So that's been multiplied by 1.125. That represents a 12.5% increase. And that equals 225. So if we do this figure, divide this figure, we will find out the original cost. So the original cost here would equal 200, we're talking about pounds, look, squeeze a little pound sign in there, 